The weather made for a miserable wait at bus stops today and the public holiday timetable didn't help. But Joe and Brenda Sednick were happy they'd left the car at home. We are using buses all the time. I find them excellent. The retirees are regulars on the 903 Smart Bus. One day we went to Altona. We went all the way just for a drive. From we Mordialo to Altona. From a Mordialo to Altona. Three hours. But not everyone's on board. Patronage on the city's busiest bus route has dropped from 6.03 million people in 2014-15 to 5.18 million in 2016. It's one of the problems facing Transdev, which operates roughly 30% of Melbourne's bus network, with vandalism and reliability issues plaguing its operations. We've heard continued reports of buses running late, running early. Um, the, the times are totally unpredictable. They're, they're uh, often cancelled. The bus just doesn't show up at all. Data obtained by The Age shows that last year 19.3% of all Transdev services arrived late. The worst, the 220 from Sunshine to Gardenvale, with just 67% of services on time. Among other poorly performing services, the 216 and 219 through the city in Elstonwick, the 246 along busy Punt Road and the 901 Orbital Smart Bus. Earlier this year, the state government flagged an overhaul of 12 bus contracts covering the remaining 70% of Melbourne in an effort to increase flexibility and improve the experience for passengers. Clearly the Transdev contracts are not working out for passengers. Uh, they need to make sure that the operators run the buses well, that they're reliable, that they're clean um, and the government needs to ensure that buses get appropriate on-road priority. Transdev declined to comment. Andrew Lund, Nine News.